So now what I'm going to show you are cluster twists. And these are twists that I find um, can be detangled together. They're not too, too, too tangled up to the point that I can look at them separately. So to answer some of y'all questions that hopefully y'all probably were thinking about posting on my video, no, I don't have to detangle every single twist, strand by strand, well, twist by twist. Um, a lot of times I'll find that a lot of my twists can be detangled in clusters. And again, like I said, I'll, for the most part, use my fingers, but I can also use tools to expedite the detangling process. I use like a, like a like a pad combing, I guess you can call it. See how easy that is to take a loose guy? It's really easy. And I add water and I add my hair lotion as needed. So this is a really organic process. There's no uh, fixated way to do this. The amount of product you put in your hair, the amount of water you add to your hair, the amount of time you invest in your hair is largely contingent upon you and your hair in the state that it's in. So, <laughs> Afro Story does not have all the answers. I can only tell you what's working for me and how I do my detangling process. So, see that? And how I know I'm done is I can feel it. Feel my fingers. All right. So what I do is I feel it together and then I feel them independently and I look at what areas need to be detangled first and then I address those areas. It's basically what I do. Alright, I'm going to work on this side. See how easy that was just to come loose like that? I'm saving like the area about an inch from my scalp. I'm saving that for last. That's more than likely why I have to use some tools because that's where my twists are clustered together. This is my method. Even when I don't have twi twists in, oh, <laughs> a nerd, nerd, nerd alert, sorry. <laughs> my nerd moment. But even when I don't have twi twists in, um, this is pretty much the same type of TLC I give my hair. I, I painstakingly detangle my hair. I don't rush through my detangle. Even when I have my hair loose, I still finger detangle first. So, some people have their own ways of doing it. Me, I know I'm going to dedicate when my hair is loose, at least a couple of hours of detangling my hair. When it's in a twat twist, it's going to take a couple of hours. Alright, so for the most part, everything is detangled from here. And now you have those cluster areas. Now you see that? Hopefully y'all can see that. Let's work on that. We're building it in smaller areas and use my fingers to just detangle that. And 
And again, this is the, I guess you can say the knot from the scalp traveling down my hair. And I just follow the flow. Just go with the flow. All right. For me, that is completely detangled. So I can set that aside. Look at this beauty. <laughs> All right. There's some hair lotion there. And it's quick, a general rule. The more knotty it is, the more tangled it is, the more water you need to use, the more hair lotion you need to use. Probably the more hair tools, or probably more time you'll be using with hair tools as well. So that's just a quick general rule. So right now what I'm doing is I'm doing that method. Everything that I do when I, do, when I detangle requires this type of motion to detangle those major knots. All right. So that's just a general rule. Only when I find those knots more manageable will I try to finger comb. Oh, Brittany, you're so OCD. You're trying to save that itty bitty little knot. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm trying to save even this little knot if I can help it. Sometimes you can't save them. Sometimes they just, you know, they are what they are. But see, it's on that one strand. So in that case, I'll just let it slide on down. I find the hardest part to detangle is my crown and the nape of my neck. Those are the ones that have been exposed the most. And Really the last two and a half to three weeks, I've been wearing my hair in updo with my spot twist. So definitely that's <laughs> been problematic for the crown, you know, the edges and the nape of my neck. So I can't say that this detangling process is unusual. This is about the amount of time I spent the last time I uh, had twat twisting. Okay. Mm -hmm. As you can see, when it's gotten to this level, I can just go on ahead and finger comb. It's pretty simple to do. Pretty simple, huh? <laughs> Time consuming, but simple. 
All right, so that's how you detangle cluster twist. Okay, so now I'm done with that particular section, and when I finish, I put it back into a twist. So yeah, so that's it.